Candid camera. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just. How do you feel about the uh, new tile, Andy? It's exciting. Just work carries on behind the scenes, you know. We sent out our last orders of the season yesterday, and then on our first day of freedom, we are um, repairing the tunnels, getting ready for next year. And actually, you know, there's something really profound about that, really sort of poetic, and I think that's really cool. Um, just absolute massive, massive thanks to everyone who's supporting us. We're actually just going through Instagram right now, um, replying to comments, and it's just, it's amazing that we've got so much positive energy and so much support, because, you know, yesterday we were technically here on our own um, as we sent out our last orders. But we didn't feel that we were alone because we get so much support. So, yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, welcome to the first day of winter, would you say? Kind of? Yeah, I guess this is the first day of winter. I mean, I'm wearing three jumpers, so <laughs> that kind of... Mm, I've only just put a jumper on, to be fair. It was quite tropical this morning, wasn't it? Like, mm. And as you can see, I mean, actually, if you want to come with me, I'll show you quickly. So, technically, this is the first day of winter. And I think there's something really nice about the fact that we're actually using the first day of winter. Um, where are we? What date is it? Uh, 13th of October. 13th of October, and we're getting ready for the sort of 9th of March or 10th of March next year when we reopen, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, I mean, the guys from First Tunnels, they're doing a fantastic job here. Um, this is kind of, this is the stage where Basically, you see the timber base rails that's going all the way around the tunnel. Um, the sort of wooden supports that's going halfway up and on the base of the tunnel. And what's going to happen is the polytunnel cover is actually going to attach itself to the timbers halfway up. And then these guys are going to be able to get it really nice and sort of tense so that it's very strong. It's less likely to rip if we have another storm like we had last February. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've actually upgraded this tunnel to add the, um, the side ventilation because obviously uh, the heat wave that we had this year, uh, it got very, very warm in there. It was too warm for us to work. Um, so basically we're gonna add this, we're gonna add the side ventilation and also the roll up screen. So we can add that extra bit of warmth as well if we need to. Um, let's go and have a quick look at how it's going. So this is the uh, replacement door frame that you're going to see me posing in my Power Ranger outfit in very, very soon. Um, it's quite weird being able to actually just step through where, yeah. where I'm never able to do. Um, it's going really, really well. Um, and actually the, the guys from First Time was doing a really amazing job. Um, I should stress as well at this point that actually we've paid for this. You know, this isn't like us doing some kind of... Uh, What's the word? Like paid advertisement? Yeah. We've paid for this and you know, these guys are doing a great job and we're recommending this in a really honest way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you need a polytunnel, I really wouldn't suggest you go anywhere else because this is really in incredible quality, incredible service. And I mean, if you just look at the other tunnels that we've had from these guys, they've lasted so long. You know, this is like an investment and that's gonna last years and years and years. So yeah, we'll show you a bit later as it's finished.